Hello all! In this video, we are going to see how to install and set up No Machine Remote Desktop Software for NVIDIA Jetson Nano. And then, we will also see how to set up XFC Lightweight Desktop Environment for Jetson Nano. So, without any further delays, let's get started. So in this video, we are going to see two main installations and setups for NVIDIA Jetson Nano, No Machine and XFC Desktop. Let's see what are these two softwares. So No Machine is a remote access and remote control computer software allowing remote desktop access and maintenance of computers. Remote desktop software allows you to connect to and control a computer from a different location over a network or the internet. It enables users to interact with a remote computer's desktop as if they were sitting right in front of it, using their local keyboard, mouse, and screen. These software mainly used for tech support and remote work, which is nowadays popular as work from home, where collaboration can be done, which means teams can work together on a single machine, making it easy to collaborate on projects. In tech support, IT professionals use remote desktop software to troubleshoot and fix issues on a user's machine without being physically present. These are some examples of popular remote softwares. So you must have used and known about VNC application. It is also popular, and we all used it for accessing Raspberry Pi's desktop remotely with headless setup. No Machine is also a remote desktop tool just like VNC. So, what is the difference between No Machine with the other? The most important factor is speed. The NX protocol provides near-local speed responsiveness over high latency and low bandwidth links. So it feels like you are directly in front of your computer. Then next is XFC. So, XFC is a lightweight desktop environment for Unix-like operating systems. It aims to be fast and low on system resources, while still being visually appealing and user-friendly. This desktop environment is lighter and faster than default desktop environment comes with Jetson Nano with Ubuntu OS. Okay, so why these two softwares are needed for Jetson Nano? Here comes important part. We want to access Jetson Nano with headless setup, means without monitor, keyboard, mouse, and other accessories and with lightweight desktop environment. So in our previous setup and video tutorials for Jetson Nano, we have explained thoroughly about how to make this system completely headless, how to access Jetson Nano wirelessly and log in using wireless SSH so that you do need not to have monitor and keyboard to set this thing up. You can refer that video for more details. Our main target is in our upcoming videos about Jetson Nano, we're going to require headless set of Nano with optimized performance. We are planning to post video tutorials on how to install and use different versions of YOLO object detection framework on Jetson Nano. So like YOLO V5, YOLO V7, YOLO V8, etc. For that we need optimized and headless Nano. Since we are not going to use monitor, we are going to disable default Unity X server desktop of Nano and install XFC lightweight desktop environment, which is more faster and consumes less resources than default environment. Okay, now let's start and first let's see about installation of No Machine. So we already set up our Jetson Nano with headless setup, connected to our same Wi-Fi network as of this computer. You can know IP address of your Nano by going into your router's configuration portal. So now we are going to log in with SSH using PuTTY software. Just follow along. In PuTTY software, here enter your IP address. Select your connection type as SSH. Then save the session in the name of Jetson Nano. Then down here, click on an open button. As soon as you click on open button, if you are logged in into your Nano on this IP for the first time, one warning window will appear. Just go down here and click on accept button. You will see login prompt on PuTTY screen. 
Here you have to enter your username and then password which you have entered and set during the first time setting up the Jetson Nano. If you entered your credentials correctly, you will get logged in. Like this. Okay, now first let's update the Linux package index. If you are running this apt update for the first time, it will take some time. While this update is running, let me tell you what we are going to do next. We are going to install one Python package called JTOP, or it is also called Jetson Stats, which shows different system parameters, like CPU type, memory usage, OS version, etc. Just like sysinfo. This is an optional step. You can skip this installation if you want and jump over to installation of no machine. For installation of this package of JTOPs, we first need the Python package manager which is called as pip. Let's install it. Once it get installed, now let's move forward. Now let's install Jetson stats package. Okay, it's done. Now let me resize the window and arrange the browser window side by side. Okay, so in browser, open Google and search this query saying, no machine for Jetson Nano, like this. And then go to the very first link, which will be like nomachine.com. So, this is the link. You can see here. Don't worry, we will put this link in video description. So, let's get into this article. So, you can see this article is about tips for using no machine on NVIDIA Jetson Nano. You can also see and verify that this article is recently updated on 7th of May, 2024. So, you can see as they said here, no machine can be installed on a Jetson Nano out of the box. There are a couple of tweaks to consider if you are using your Nano as a headless server. This article assumes that you have already installed the appropriate Ubuntu image. It means you have already set up your Nano. So let me show you the details and specs of our Jetson Nano. Okay, here we use JTOP tool. All right. You can see, it says here that we have to restart it since we have just installed JTOP tool. Let's reboot the system. Please wait for one minute and then restart the session like this and log in again. Okay, now run JTOP command. This tool will show different system information about our Jetson Nano. You can see here, we have NVIDIA Jetson Nano Developer Kit, running Jetpack 4.6.1. Please note our Jetson Nano is of 4GB variant. Okay, this is all about to show you our system configs. Let's get back to Terminal. Okay, now let's install the No Machine. You can go to this link to download the dev package for ARM v8 architecture, or you can just use the wget command they have given here. Let's copy this command and paste it in terminal to download the dev package for no machine. Okay, it got downloaded. You can see this here in listing. Then you can install no machine package with dpkg command they have given here. Copy it and paste it in terminal to execute it. Enter password if asked. Okay, this will start the installation of no machine on Jetson Nano. Once completed, you will see logs like this. That is NX service is running on port 4000. Okay, next is an important step for headless system users. If you don't want to connect a monitor to your device and don't need to have X server running, so you can disable X server using this command. 
But please note that this command is only for headless users who are working without monitor screen. Don't use this command if you are using monitor screen. You will lose your desktop display. So we are running headless setup, hence we will execute it to disable X server. Then we also need to run this command to restart the NX server. Okay, let's move forward. Here they have given further considerations and recommendations. Like, as they said, we suggest you to install an alternative desktop environment XFC to Unity, which is default on Jetson Nano Ubuntu. That's because on Unity, there can be some minor issues, such as the blinking of the system menu. So here they have given command to install XFC desktop environment. Let's install it. Copy and paste this command or type it into terminal. Okay, so we have installed XFC successfully. Then next, they have said here as if you wish to continue to with XFC as a headless machine, we have to do few tweaks in system files. Let's try them. Step one, first disable the X server. Here is the command. Okay then, here as they say, if X server was disabled after no machine installation, you will need to restart NX server. Okay, let's do that. Okay, next step is configure no machine for the XFC desktop. Installing and using an alternative desktop environment means that the start command for that desktop must be added to the no machine node configuration. Since XFC is the chosen desktop environment, we have to do these following edits. Edit the config files. Just follow along. See how we do it. Copy this Vim editor command, paste in terminal and execute it. This will open Vim editor window. So here, if you used this Vim editor of Linux before, you must have known that in order to edit this text and insert anything into it, we have to press I button like this. Then using arrow button, scroll down in this file and look for line saying default desktop command. So let's scroll and search. Okay, here is that line. Here we have to delete the text in double quotes and then insert the text they have given. So let me show you like this. You have to make this line like this. Okay, once you do that correctly. Now we have to save this file and exit out of editor correctly. For that, first press the escape key. Then prompt will be shown at the bottom, like this. Here you have to enter colon, then WQ, means write and quit. Okay, then hit enter. That's it, all right. In this way, we have successfully edited that file. Now, as they said here, go to your connecting client, install no machine for your OS and follow the instructions of the getting started guide. Please note here on Jetson Nano, we have installed NX server means no machine server. Now, in order to access the Nano remotely from our laptop or computer, we have to install no machine client software on our Windows machine. So now you can go to No Machine website, download and install the No Machine software on your laptop or PC according to your OS platform and architecture. So our laptop is running Windows OS and we have already downloaded and installed No Machine on our system. Let's open it. 
So here we have open no machine software. Its interface will look something like this. So here to access our Jetson Nano's desktop remotely, we have to click here on this add button. Next window will get open, on which we have to enter name and address of our Jetson Nano machine. Here, give the connection name as Jetson Nano. Then in host, enter the IP address of Nano. You can query it from the terminal if you are not sure about it. So our Nano's IP is 192.168.0.105. In your case, you may have different IP address. Let's enter it in host field. Then check for port number, which must be 4000, and protocol must be NX. Then click on this add button. Our machine will get added. You can see here, Jetson Nano. Then to connect, select the machine and click on the connect button. Okay, next will be authentication and identification. We have to click okay here. On next window, we have to enter login credentials of our Jetson Nano. Enter username and password correctly. Tick this save password option so that next time you need not to enter it again. Then click OK to connect. Then on next window, it will show that it cannot detect any display running on Jetson Nano, which is true since we have disabled the default X server desktop environment. Here no machine will create new XFC desktop. Click yes to allow it. Now we will be connecting to Jetson Nano desktop remotely. You can enable or disable audio on server. Click OK. Then on next window, also click OK. For display resolution window, select second option. That is, resize the remote display to match with the client monitor. Then click OK. You may have to enter password for any authentication on next screen. And here you can see, this is our Nano's desktop, which we are accessing it remotely using no machine. Let's open terminal here, like this. And you can see the response is fast, like real time, just like we are accessing it using typical monitor display-based setup. Jetson stats will show resources consumptions, which are still looking pretty optimized as we see here. So. This is our XFC desktop environment on our Jetson Nano, and we can access it remotely. This is cool, isn't it? Okay, so in this way we can install No Machine Remote Desktop Server and XFC Lightweight Desktop Environment on Jetson Nano. In upcoming projects and video tutorials, we are going to use this setup for our experiments with some cool machine vision projects. Stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating our DIY projects, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp. You can also send us email at info at the rate to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you. Mm -hmm.